Welcome back. Let's take a moment to appreciate this environment of peace and harmony that we've created. To successfully carry this out, we'll first construct a story. We'll then need some human shields, powerful tanks, Black Hawk helicopters, hospitals and residential buildings. We'll then go over animation using curves and noise, lighting, compositing and sound design. Our story goes something like this. We are a powerful military and we've set out on a mission to restore peace and stability in our region while we facilitate the resettling of our people in new lands. We will use any means necessary to reach our objective and by any means, we do mean any means. Alright, to achieve this, the first crucial element is human shields, hundreds and thousands of them. But that is too many for the world to see, so let's just place one right here. To greet this human shield with felicitations of freedom, we place a tank. To support that armor, we carry out aerial operations. Let's place a Black Hawk right here to do that. We will then need some civilian residential buildings, a hospital and destroyed infrastructure. We will then place one of the six functional ambulances in the entire area along with a civilian vehicle. Finally, for the ground, we will use a photo scan of rubble scattered around in different scales and rotations because we do like to leave an impression. Once all this is assembled in a densely populated manner, we begin our onslaught with mechanized armor. We begin this by animating using curves. We make a curve to mark our pathway through the land. To make our tank model ready for animation, we make a little rig made up of empties. The body of the tank is parented to an empty and the barrel of the tank is parented to another empty. This empty is then parented to body control empty and this body control empty is parented to another empty based at the base which will be the mother control of the entire tank. To animate, we parent the mother control to the curve path and under object data properties of the curve, we check the path animation and keyframe the evaluation time. Let's make sure we have clamp and follow checked as well. This will make sure the tank faces the direction of the curve and stays within the bounds described by the curve. We can think of this as orders from our superiors. To animate the barrel, we simply animate the Z rotation of the barrel control empty and see what rotations look better from our camera angle. To add in a final touch of organic movement, we demonstrate the bumps or tank experiences as it moves through the destruction that we've created earlier. We do this by placing one keyframe on the Y rotation of our body control empty and then use a noise modifier to simulate the bumps. We change the offset of the noise to roughly match the areas where there should be bumps in the movement. For animating the Black Hawk, we use the same technique but in the Z axis. The rotor blades are animated using drivers. With origin at the center where the blades meet, we drive the Z rotation of the rotors by the current frame. The expression for this is deceivingly simple. Hash, frame, followed by a multiple. We do the same for the tail rotor as well, but this time in the X axis. To animate the human shield, we give her a simple rig made up of three bones. Each bone is then animated with noise as demonstrated earlier. From a distance, this movement would do just fine, as nobody tends to care about them anyway. For lighting, we could use some incendiary ammunition to light up the skies, but we choose not to. We use an HDRI to do that. This will be the main heavy lifter. We can try out different HDRIs with the rotations that look best from our camera angle. Eventually, we settle up on this setup. We also want to highlight that there is a human shield present in the area. Therefore, we'll introduce an area light from the same direction as the light from the HDRI. We will then add some remnants of lights left in the building and with that, we are all set for rendering. We set samples at 128 with denoising and motion blur on for the rotor blades. The background set as transparent, we start the render. This render is then brought to After Effects for some compositing. In here, we first add a background with a camera lens blur and animate it according to the rotation of our sphere. 
a low vignette to block out excess brightness. We then track the movement of the car to add some smoke coming out from it, showing the recent treatment it has received. After it's tracked, we parent a stock video of the smoke with the tracker. We do a small amount of color correction to just increase the contrast and bring more focus to the center. We then add a lens flare to simulate the dying sun. With 2D foreground layer to add atmospheric haze, we complete the composite. In the sound design in DaVinci Resolve, we add the sounds of rotors. The revving gas-hungry engines of the tank. The wails of freedom as she loses her sons and daughters. Ambient sounds with distant sirens of ambulances. And finally, a thought-provoking soundtrack that might wake us up to reality. And with this, we've finally achieved the environment of absolute and never-lasting peace and security. Like and subscribe if you learned something, and I will see you soon. Farewell.